Dear Aquarist, today I'm bringing my presentation on fish diseases from my home. Well, it's not here in an icy place in Moscow that looks at the back. I used to visit that beautiful town because I have friends and family over there. And today it's from my home office, but it's winter and it's cold, so I have time to make videos and in cases on fish diseases, which I study during my work. And to do it today, it's about a lion head, uh, around the lion head, which is a uh, was a beautiful uh, goldfish, which I show here in my case 115, the Carassius oratus, red cap. Yes, the beautiful red caps is a beautiful fish, but anyway, this one had raised scales, dropsy, suffering from a parasitic and a bacterial infection. Like I show here, here in the picture, look at raised scales, look at pineapple fish. Well, if you see this advanced case, well, you might be sure that this fish is in very bad condition. And maybe the other ones in the aquarium can have the same kind of problem later on. So you have to take care as soon as possible. And here I'll show you in the video, a few more will catch a disease later on. That's why we collected it. The other ones look pretty well okay, but a few were showing this kind of uh, race scale problem, and most of them were happy and healthy, but it's time to act. It's time to understand what is the problem of this disease so you can take appropriate actions before most of the fish get sick and it's too late to treat. So take time to watch and examine fish. And that's what I show you here in my presentation, the damage of the gills. Yes, the gills were affected. You can see the leases here, the bleeding here. It's bacterial infections here also, parts which are gone, necrotic tissue here, gill lamellae which are damaged by bacteria. And at the same time, we found gill flukes. See the gill flukes here moving at the side. And they can cause lesion, they can cause damage. And those damaged areas are a risky area that bacteria infections can or bacteria can penetrate in those wounds in the gills and cause bacterial infections and lesions and damage. So then we opened up the fish and we saw a watery fluid mass inside, blowing up organs which are all very big and large which is not normal, didn't look healthy, particularly the watery content. This is typical, typical for uh, that uh, fish with dropsy and raised scales because the kidneys do not work anymore. There's a lot of fluid collected in the belly, which blows up the fish because the kidney cannot take away the fluid. And we can see the kidneys here, which I show here, which are enlarged. So there is a problem with the kidneys, which you will examine with the microscope, so I can explain you. Here we took some of the organs on a plate, we squeezed it, we squeezed it in with two glass plates. Here at the right is the liver, in the middle is the spleen, and here are the kidneys, the enlarged kidneys on the left. And that is what we see in the microscope, the kidneys with tubercles. Here some larger ones. Here's some smaller ones, smaller ones here, smear here. So that is taking away healthy kidney tissue. Here you see many of the small tubercles in other parts of the kidney tissue. Those are bacterial infections encapsulated by a reaction of the organ to defend itself. And also in the spleen, we found some tubercles. And the liver looked very weak, poor, I can say, with whitish areas. So. What can we suggest for this Oranda lionhead red cap? Well, the fish which have heavily dropsy, you should put them gently asleep and you can use a tranquilizer like Narcomor plus from Aquarium Munster. If you act quickly here with appropriate action and medications, you might save many fish. You should apply an antibiotic and an anti-gill fluke treatment at the same time, as soon as possible. Particularly the antibiotic must be applied as soon as possible, maybe in the food, and then it's taken up by the fish who are still eating, or in the aquarium water. Ask your fish doctor, he is the expert, should tell you what antibiotic you can use, because that can depend on the kind of bacteria 
you can send it to the laboratory and, and within 48, 60 hours, you, you know maybe that that kind of bacteria, what kind of appropriate antibiotics should be used. Ask your fish doctor. To help uh, the fish, you can also use it with food, like our doctor buy a fish food, uh, garlic, use it for several weeks. It helps to control the gills and the gill flukes. Later, you can food with Dr. Basley buy food, food to help to control of the health of the fish. Those are things for fish food. Learn more while well, study my books on fish diseases, which I have available in different languages. You want to be, become more aware about fish diseases and how to diagnose, follow my Patreon, uh, General Bastier. Then you can become an expert and a good fish keeper. So thank you for watching, and I hope this video helps you to become more specialist. Thank you.